Hi guys, welcome back to Data Girl channel. Today we will continue working on top songs data from Spotify. In the last two videos, I already talked about simple linear regression and multiple linear regression. You guys can check them out in the description below. Basically, we already built three simple linear regression models and three multiple linear regression models that predict the ranking of the songs. Here is the data that we have been using. Um, this is a numerical variables that we will use to predict our popularity here. And this step is the step that I use to clean our data very quickly. Why building multiple linear regression model? One of the most common questions come up is that what are the features should we select? We must select an appropriate set of features that includes all of important variables, but not all of candidate's predictors are necessary to adequately model the response. In the previous video, to build the multiple linear regression model, I used some features that based on their good performances from simple linear regression models. However, there are some methods that can help us to select subset of predictors. For example, best subset selection, stepwise selection includes forwards, backward, and hybrid. And today we will discuss how to use the best subset selection. Let's first of all grab our numerical variables from our data. Let's just bring out the head. And this is how our data look like. And now we will use the best subset selection method to find out which sets of predictors are good to predict the popularity of the songs. What the best subset selection will do is that it will fit on of the models that contain exactly one predictor, such as uh, BPM here, danceability, to predict the popularity. And all models that contain exactly two predictors, such as um, danceability and DP here to predict the popularity. Uh, with the model contain exactly three predictor, four predictor, and so on. And at each step, choose the one that with the highest R square. Now let's uh, use our model. First of all, we have to print out the library libs. Let's call the rex of sex from library libs and popularity versus every variables from our data subset. And choose the methods exotic. Yes, call it summaries. And yes, this is the result of our model. An asterisk here indicates that a given variable is included in the corresponding model. For instance, this output indicates that the best two variables model contains only energies and duration. However, our goal is to choose the best model from these eight models based on appropriate criteria. So what criteria should we look at? Usually, uh, the best subset selection methods use the adjusted R squared and the Marlowe CP to select the true model. So let's print out those values. We will create a data frame here to store our adjusted R squared and CP. We can call adjusted R squared by just call ADGR2 and the CP is the CP. Let's print it out. So this is the adjusted R square and CP of eight models above. What is adjusted R square? Adjusted R square is an adjusted version of R square, which adjusts the R square for having too many variables in the model. The higher adjusted R square, the better model is. And the Mellow CP addresses the issue of overfitting. A small value of CP means that the model is relatively precise. So the lower CP, the better model is. As we can see that the highest adjusted R square and the lowest CP belong to the model 6, which means that it is our best model comparing to our 8 model above. 
let's print out its coefficients. Here is the six variables in our model six. So that's it. Based on the CP and adjusted R square, we just obtained the model with six features giving us the best performance between the eight models above. However, there is something that I want to note that um, the adjusted R square and the CP here are calculated on the training data that haven't been used to fit the models. This means that the model selection using this matrix is possibly subject to overfitting and may not perform as well when applied to the new data. That's it for the video today. See you in the next one. Thank you.